All right, everyone. So last week I did a little contest. So where is it? So if you model this thing here and if you would post it into our co plasticity community, then you have to, or you had the chance to win any course here. So yeah, a lot of people participated actually. And yeah, we got some really awesome results and yeah, only those people posted their results. Um, so if that was the correct one, so those I've included here in this random thing and one person. So where is here? So here this Joe posted something and this is not exactly the right shape. But I just noticed when I was collecting the names that, I don't know, he wrote something. Why did you remove my second attempt? So I'm not sure why. But anyway, I've included you as well in the spin. So yeah, all of you who commented something, you have now the chance. So let's spin and the winner from the first spin. You can just write me then in the school community which standalone one course you want from my website so let's 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 spin and i don't know do you hear some sound who is it oh that would be okay it's rob switch congratulations so yeah this was his result it's a little bit spiky but this will work fine and I think you, Rob, you have already some of my courses, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so basically <laughs> you have already bought every course, I think, that I have, right? So industrial, ultimate surface model action cam. Oh no, I think you don't have the motorcycle course, right? I think this is the last one, but yeah, you definitely deserve it to get it for free because you have all of them. So just write me a message and let's do a second spin. Why not? Because I'm in a very good mood. So let's just make a second spin and the second will also get a random course. Um, so yeah, let's spin. And in my recording, yes. Ah, okay, cool, Nicolas. Oh, awesome. All awesome that you won because you are very very active in our community and you help also all the people so even here i just saw three hours ago you made a content so yeah also nicolas just let me know you won a free course so yeah if you want to have a chance i don't know i think i will do some more of this contest just somewhere below this video in the description there will be a link so you can join into our community three thousand people it's 3000 plasticity members so yeah it's, we are pretty active here and yeah let's basically um create the shape here and um yeah honestly guys i think those who um posted as a comment i think even you you did you found something what is 100 times easier what i will show you uh, show you here because i think i i I, I will show you the, the most complex technique there is in this world. So why I'm going back. So let's just create a new. Yeah, so this tutorial is a little bit random. So it's not so polished. So yeah, I don't know. It's it's just I'm in a mood like that today. So yeah, again, as I showed you, it's 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 I'm sure you can do it much, much simpler. But yeah, anyway, so you just create here control point curve. So this one here. And you just go first with a very random shape, but you have to create here at the top tangency. So no, you don't have at the bottom, uh, at the top, but at the bottom. So just create here some tangent points. And yeah, let's just adjust it a little bit. So yeah, something like that. And now just select it and revolve it around the middle. So yeah, maybe I think I will just put him a little bit out. So something like that again, just revolve it around the middle and duplicate now this curve here and um, hide one. So this is the OG outside curve and this is the inside curve. And this inside curve, you have to bring a little bit more inside. So just select all of those points and just bring them a tiny bit inside. 
and also this point also just a little bit more inside and hide this outside thing and again revolve it so we have an inner piece and yeah hide this curve and we have two of those solid bodies right so let's create now this twist um, for that I will just go to the top create the line shift a at the top and shift D one more and bring this one to this bottom point with control click and select this curve G V bring this pivot here and again with control click to this point here so we have something like that right and now extrude them both so press E press F bring them to the back and hide them and now select those outer edges and shift B it again it's not a beginner tutorial I don't know I just for those who are interested in so also shift D so just create like um, yeah this swirl and now take this top one and this bottom press loft and shift so you see now but here we don't want any tangency so here just G0 and you see we have like this twist intersection so, so I'm sure that there is a better way but yeah I've created today like 10 videos or so for some other stuff so yeah my brain is already pretty much fried but yeah anyway so let's delete, delete this sheets and hide this curve and now we have to go to the top select the sheet and radial array it yeah I don't know like 36 times maybe so yeah something like that okay and we just need the first three so just select the fourth one and the last and X so we need three versions yes because now we will select this outer balloon and select one of those sheets and imprint so for me it's shift one press ok because this will give you here like this nice twist on the surface um, object mode do the same with the so select the balloon and select this sheet on the outside so not this one in the middle and again shift one so it's my shortcut for imprint and hide the sheet and now we have to imprint this sheet onto so the middle sheet right onto this inside balloon so select this inside balloon shift click uh, this uh, sheet here and again shift one for imprint press ok and delete the sheet so now let me just um, so now we have this outside balloon and this inside balloon right and this guy is in the middle between them um, why we did this because now we can go to the front view create a line and just cut it somewhere random here delete this top piece and basically one more delete this inside piece delete this piece and hide and now you have to shift D um, duplicate all of those lines and press alt J so you have three lines perfect and now you can just loft them so you create the sheet and loft here as well everything works fine select all of those curves hide them and select both sheets and join them and yeah so now what you can do is or I don't have to remember uh, first of all let's select that and control D just delete random than topology from the inside and the on uh, because here we see one more line I don't want it so shift D delete random than topology and now I think we have to select both of those balloons and press QQ so we just create one and now we need the sheet here and we go to the top view and we have to revolve it now around a radial array but this time we need just 18 so so just 36 by 2 it's 18 okay you see now it's perfectly aligned and that's fine because now and uh, yeah sorry before we do that we need the same swirl on the other side so just select this one so this is just the right one and so select the right one alt x 
and press F and just here along the Z axis, but uh, here, disable this slice in the mirror thing. So press OK. So now you have two, so right and left. And let's hide the left one for now. And again, select the right one, radial array the middle, and press OK. And now select this balloon and control click this first sheet and shift click. So you select all of them, press Q to Boolean, but press shift Q to slice it. And yeah, let it load for a little bit. Okay, so it took a little bit. And now select, so find this main balloon. So, okay, this is here, this one. So bring it to the top and delete all of those other pieces. Exactly. And now we have something like that. Okay, now I see it will be a little bit too spiky, but that's fine. Go to the front again. And this time show the left sheet. And we have here one more sheet, which is the same. We can hide that. So now we have the left sheet and we have to do the same. So select the left sheet and go radial array around the middles. 18, okay. Join everything. And now select this main balloon and control click this sheet and Q again and shift Q to slice it and let it load. So press OK. And we have a few pieces here. Okay, so we have a lot of those pieces. Okay, basically we have 700 pieces. So try to select here this uh, main balloon and now find it. Okay, it's 280, bring it to the top or just select 279 till the first one. So I'm sure it, it can be done better. So it was 280, right? So again, select all except 280. And here, so I've deleted everything except one of this. And yeah, now you can just create a circle at the top and extrude if you want. But yeah, I'm pretty sure as I remember, I did it the first time somehow different, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, I can't remember anymore. But yeah, that works. And you see also here from the bottom, you have this uh, pattern. So I hope you learned something. And for those, I started a new YouTube channel. Um, if you are a creative person and you're an artist or designer and you have some skills and you thought maybe oh, you, you want to start your own online business, creating courses, start a YouTube channel, also below this video somewhere you find the link to my second channel I've just launched and I will share everything that I learned in my plasticity business where I made $70,000 round about in one year, 140 tutorials, 15 courses. So just subscribe, like and write me. So check out those uh, videos here. And if you have questions, just write them in the comment below those videos because I don't know, this is really something that I really, really enjoy and I will focus on that business channel. So yeah, otherwise leave a like, subscribe for this video and you know, all that kind of stuff and have a nice weekend. Bye.